Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's, these rocks are very slippery. The Daily Woo. Hitchcock would be proud. What's up, buddy? Pretty good waves today, huh, bro? If you're interested, this cow is for sale. You can buy that cow straight ahead. The Railroad Museum. Got some nice little ambiance coming from that box. Train noises as you enter. Engine number one, the Mary and Elizabeth is what it's nicknamed, from the Waco Beaumont Trinity and Sabine Company. Operated from 1920 to the 1950s. Remember when you were a kid and the thing to do was put pennies on a railroad track and then you heard that it could derail the train? Is that true or is it false? Highly doubtful. I'm thinking maybe they just say that to keep kids off the tracks. And of course, no train museum would be complete without miniature trains. Push to start trains. Here we go. They're moving. Yes. I did it. I operated the trains. I am officially a train operator. Well, hello there. You guys just hanging out? We're discussing trains. I do love me some locomotives. Oh my gosh, I have just walked into one of the most unusual, kind of creepy train stations I've ever seen. There are moderately terrifying statues of people all inside here waiting. Oh my gosh, she looks... She looks absolutely terrified. The guy on the right-hand side must clearly have something against tennis players. He's in a fist fight with him. I don't know for what the reason is, but he just doesn't like that guy. Sometimes I wonder what my husband is reading. I look over his shoulder wondering. so annoying. Before she boards the train, this couple is saying their last goodbyes. I'll never forget you, Roger. Take this note so that you always remember me. I have no idea who you are. This little boy is putting some sort of bizarre curse on this other child, or maybe he's just hypnotizing her. On the count of three, when I snap my fingers, you will wake and remember Nothing. That is a 1911 case steam tractor. I think at one time this actually ran kind of like a car, but it looks like a train. And you would get children inside here sitting in these chairs. And they'd ride in their own choo choo train. You don't see these too much anymore. This contraption would have people on either side pushing that lever up and down, making this vehicle go down the tracks. We're inside the train car now, in the dining area. This is making me hungry. They have a wide variety of train cars from over the years. Some for hauling people, some for hauling chemicals and gas and propane and whatnot. This is up inside one of them. This is where all the magic happens, or at least used to. Serving all the West, Union Pacific.
This one has its own toilet. This was the mail car. States are right there on the bags and then they have these different slots and organization areas for the mail itself. There's a photo of it when it was in use. When you wanted to get word to someone, this is how it happened. There were no text messages back then. But then again, there was Morse code. That's kind of like the original texting service. It's always good to look at some trains and be very claustrophobic in that little thing. It's very beautiful for sure, Seawall Boulevard. If I didn't turn left though, I would just drive right off that little ledge into the water. That would not be good. Right down there is the Rainforest Cafe. This is the sign. This is not a typical Rainforest Cafe, however. Do not be deceived. This one has something the others do not. A river ride. This is seriously blowing my mind right now. I don't think this exists anywhere else but here. Whoa, it's good to see I'm not the only one excited about this. The time has come now for the river adventure ride. I'm so excited. I got two tickets. I'm gonna ride this thing twice. We're going deep into the caverns through the queue line. I do not know what I'm about to experience. There comes the boat. That's the one I'm gonna be riding in. Whoa, it's like one of those circular ones. I hope, hopefully you don't get wet on this thing. This is it. I'm going deep into the jungle. We have departed. It is a very faint mist of fog. There's a tiki guy right there. Wow, this is cool. I never knew this existed. Whoa, look at this. Oh yeah. He's just up there. Whoa, he's talking to me. What's up, buddy? Got all kind of wildlife out here. Got some parrots over there. Looks like the weather's starting to get a little gnarly. I have a bad feeling about this. Whoa, right there. Look at him. He looks like a stuffed animal, but he's still pretty terrified. Watch out for this guy. He's blowing darts at us. Someone has lost their head. That's a monkey right there. That's a monkey directly above my head. That was a monkey. Is that a dinosaur? Are you a, whoa, he's shaking his head, yes. inside some sort of temple, underground temple. The snake. Oh! Oh my gosh, that almost hit me. That stream of water just about got me. Luckily the seat was in the way. Good going seat. You stopped it. I've reached the end, but I'm going a second time. Farther into the fog. I'm not gonna lie. I like this a lot. It's very cheesy, but I'm having a pretty good time. That's a very large iguana right there. There's just something about a boat ride through a forest with mechanical animals that I like. Coming up on another tiki head. How you doing? More water! More water! Stay away from me, water! And don't you be getting any hair-brained ideas either! Oh my gosh, there's a guy hanging over there. He's been roasted to death. Ooh! We made it. Success. The sun is just about gone over the horizon. Night is here. <laughs> oh, there's a train going by. Listen. Perfect. Perfect ending to a perfect day. Why am I saying that all creepy-like? I'll see you tomorrow. Vlog over.